Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer. Welcome to our Power Teacher Pro series for elementary teachers. In this very first video of the series, we're going to take a quick peek at Power Teacher Pro and what its key features are. It's important for us to remember that this is just an introduction. Don't worry, we have lots of training videos and training documents for how to do specific tasks in Power Teacher Pro. You'll notice under the name of your class, there's a link, Power Teacher Pro. Click here to get to your gradebook. As we had to use Illuminate before, there was no program for us to keep track of our assessments and their associated outcomes unless we wrote it down in a binder or kept notes somewhere on our computer. I know some of you even went so far as to buy your own gradebook program from Teachers Pay, Teachers, or Etsy or someplace like that so you could track student progress. Power Teacher Pro eliminates this need. We can now keep track of all our assessments, their associated outcomes, each student's level of achievement, and even anecdotal feedback, our comments, right here in the Power Teacher Pro gradebook. Let me show you how we do that. When you open up your gradebook, the first thing you'll do is use this section selector to find the class you'd like to enter an assessment for. Click on the class's title, and the default screen appears. This is the list of all the assignments that I've given so far to my Grade 1 English Language Arts class. I see the category, the assignment name, how many have been assigned and scored, the due date, and even the score type. If I click on the name of the assignment, I can now see what information I've tracked for my students. Each student name is listed, and then I have an overall score column. Now because this is grade one, I don't want to give an overall score on one single assignment. Instead, I'd like to keep track of how the students scored on individual outcomes. Here you see I'm hovering over these outcomes to remind me what they are, and I have entered a level of achievement for each of those outcomes for each student. Notice this blue speech bubble in the score column, this indicates that there is a comment here. So this is where I can keep track of information specific to that particular student. Notice I have not given a comment to every single student for this assignment. This is my observation and recommendation for improvement. If I want to go to the next student, I can press down. And if I want to look at the next student's levels of achievement on the outcomes, I can press the left or right buttons. If I want to see more information about the assignment itself and what information I've shared, I can click on Edit Assignment. Here I can track what class is getting this assignment. So let's say I teach all three of the Grade 1 English Language Arts classes in my school, then I would be able to make one assignment and assign it to all three. I just have to drop down this menu. I can see the name, the category. We'll talk more about categories in a future video. Same thing with score type. I can decide upon the due date. And I can even put in a description because parents will be able to see this as well. So this helps parents understand what the assignment was and what the expectations were of their child. I can also go up to the Students tab to see which students I've given this assignment to. Sometimes we have students who don't get an assignment because they have left for holiday or they've been very sick or they're adapted so we don't want to give them the same assignment as everyone else. So I can just click Add or Remove Students to change who gets this assignment. I can also look at what outcomes, what KLOs, are attributed to this particular assignment. I can click Add Edit Outcomes and I can even search by filtering it right up here to add another one if, let's say, I've forgotten. Then finally, I can decide when parents get to see it. Keeping in mind, of course, that timely feedback is the point here for ongoing reporting. Power Teacher Pro also allows me to shift from looking at a whole class to individual students. To see an individual's progress on each and every outcome in class, click on Students, Outcomes Progress. 
On this outcome down here, there happens to be two assignments and we have two different levels of achievement attributed to this assignment. I can click on the cell in there to see what the names of those assignments were and how the students scored on each one. If I feel the need to change what's in this box here, then that is okay. The program is designed to calculate an average, if you will, of levels of achievement. But of course, as the professional in the room, you are more than welcome to adjust that so that it is more accurate to view the overall outcomes progress of your entire class rather than individual students then we go up to that grading drawer and click outcomes again i can see these outcomes listed across the top and again if i see this little yellow icon here the professional judgment indicator that tells me that there were there was more than one opportunity for a student to demonstrate learning on this outcome Clicking on that professional judgment indicator allows me to take a closer look and I can adjust uh, the auto calculated level of achievement if needed. I can also look at the comment log. So instead of looking at my whole score sheet, I can look at the running record of the comments, observations, recommendations, etc. that I've given for one particular student. Without a doubt. My favorite feature of PowerTeacher Pro is this next screen here, Outcomes Progress. It shows me all the KLOs associated with this subject and it shows me the grade distribution. These little bar graphs right here I find so handy because at one quick glance I can see how many kiddos are having trouble in my class and when I open up that bar graph it allows me to see which students exactly are the ones that I need to work closely with to close the gap. I've mentioned the shift to ongoing reporting a couple of times now, but what does it really mean anyway? Well, it means that we're going to share with parents their child's progress and learning as it happens. Parents will first log on to powerschool.ecsd.net slash public, and they'll come to this page called Grades and Attendance. They can scroll to the class that they're looking for. So in this case, it's Danielle's language arts class. And here we see all of the assignments that have been done so far in her class. The parent will then drop down this menu right here to see which outcomes are associated with the assignment. And then the parent can also click on the word view to see information about the student score detail. So here we have the score comment, so that's specific to the student. And we also have the assignment description, which every parent gets to see. Another way to look at this is to click on the outcomes grades tab and find your course again. So here, the only outcomes that are going to show are the ones that are being assessed right now. So considering that our parents are going to be able to track their child's progress and learning throughout the entire year, as opposed to waiting for that report card at the end of each term, you might be asking yourself, how else does this change what I do as a teacher? Well, this might be the best news yet. All those labor-intensive end-of-term comments that we used to spend countless hours writing right before report cards, those are a thing of the past. You can kiss those goodbye as we move into using PowerTeacher Pro for ongoing reporting. That's it for today, everyone. If you have any questions or need any help, please don't hesitate to give us a call at St. Peter Center. Thanks for watching and have a great day.